evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of welterweight action between these two great warriors. He's making that final walk that separates man and warrior, soon to be in battle there in the ring. Ali Melanagi's making his way down to the ring. And he does so with a confidence where he knows he put all the hard work in and he's ready to explode inside those ropes. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Mayan. His opponents in the blue corner, please welcome Paulie the Magic Man Malachi. We the rules in the dressing room. Watch those low blows, watch the headbutts. Let's have a good, clean fight, okay? When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. You know, just because you look the role doesn't mean you can play the role. And in a matchup like this, we know one guy has a lot of strength. You can just see the muscularity. One guy doesn't. But this sport has taught us time and time again, sometimes that doesn't matter at all. Like the great Sugar Ray Robinson, a lot of people think the greatest fighter of all time, found for pound. He used to say that boxing is like geometry. It's about angles, keeping somebody off balance. Not who's stronger, but who can use those assets, or who can keep the other guy from using them. Good block. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him. And in round number one, you already get the sense that they have no intention to this fight going the distance. Scored well after being hit himself. <laughs> Halfway through round number one. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Pauli Melanacci. Eddie, if you could only pick out a few characteristics for a fighter and apply them to them, what would they be? Well, I think first of all would be the ability to overcome and the ability to be dependable. Everyone looks at the neon things, the speed, the power, they're tangible. We feel comfortable with those things. We can grab onto those things. But what about the talent of somebody being able to make a choice, a hard choice, in a very dark place? Good looking counter punch by Pauly. Wow! Pauly Malinaji's down from a huge punch. That landed clean. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Counter by Malinaji. End of the round. A round in which a knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown, what are some of the things you want to remind him of? You want to remind him how he got there because a lot of times it's the tendency to just remember the punch that put him there. He dressed him up. He set that punch up. Don't think about just the punch that landed. Think about the setup punches. Okay. I want to see that counter hook. Make a paper. 
just focus on the fight. We'll take care of the killing. Got to find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now, look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab his guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough. When he goes to grab him, he's not exposing himself to get dropped again. Malinaji is starting to swell here. A little defense turns to offense by money. at him with a left hand. <laughs> Halfway through round number two. Blocks the headshot. Holly Malinaji side of me is getting worse as things continue on here. Teddy, he's got to be very conscious of that, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, and his corner has to be, too. They got to be thinking about if it gets to the point where he can't defend himself, they have to do something. Obviously, they didn't come here thinking they were going to have to do. Stop this fight. Holly Malinaji's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Get rid of that one. Able to show you his blocking ability. Lands the counter. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue and red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Lead to the side, then boom! <laughs> Let's, let's get on that swelling. Get on the swelling. And round number three is underway. <laughs> Malinaji with a counter punch. Oh, Holy Malinaji's been stunned. Come on, guys, keep apart. Punch it up. Come on, punch it up. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Committing to the combo now, both land.
Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Paulie Melanagi is a pro, but he's not a well-rounded pro because a better level of fighter would be committing to the body more here, wouldn't he, Teddy? Yeah, well, first of all, he would recognize that that's where he's supposed to be going now that his opponent, you know, is taking off a little bit with those fast shoes. No better way to take those shoes off his feet than to go downstairs. Good-looking counterpunch by Paulie. Just locked. He's got a cut, and it looks like it's below the eye, on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. action as a new round is underway of course in that last round it was fairly one-sided he was hit pretty hard and now he has to overcome that here yeah you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that I mean everybody saw you know he got staggered his knees buckled he did a little dance there but what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately keeping his hands up getting way of his opponent's effort Taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counter punching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. <laughs> nice counter by Malinaji. <laughs> Holy cow! Holy Malinaji's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. Holly Malinaji's now battling two opponents. The guy standing opposite him trying to punch him and his eyes swelling. Yeah, he can't see what's coming at him right now. And now another left. <laughs> Halfway through this round. And he's able to land consecutive shots. Well done by Pauli Malinaggi. His opponent doesn't like that, but that's exactly what he was trying to do. Just create some space there. He dismisses his opponent's headshot. Oh, that's got to hurt. Holy Malinaji stunned, and he is hurt. All right, come on. Come on, guys. Work it out. Work it out. No holding. Nice 
counter by Malinaji. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Paulie Malinaji. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of that guy. Back to action now. We're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because maybe in his mind that means the guy has thrown hard back at him. Good looking counter punch by Pauly. Money's showing some swelling now. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. And now another left. Great pace to this fight, Teddy. These guys are not coming out of fifth gear. Nobody's slowing down. No, they're fighting a sixth, seventh, and eighth gear. Blocked by money. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Good job protecting himself. <laughs> Parries that punch intended for the head. End of the round here, and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was, and you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. The action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. Paulie Malinaji with the block punch. Paulie Malinaji's making for a very inviting target right now. You can see the blood around that eye, the cut is obviously worse than it was just moments ago.
Well, he took one right there, but then he targeted one right back. Nice counter by Malinaji. And now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? get up to his feet after that knockdown but Teddy it's what's ahead that's the problem yeah we're getting a peek right now into his heart into his soul Holly Melanaji's eye is really a mess now due to that cut now if you're his opponent it's got to be the primary target I assume you know and that's the key word assume and a lot of people a lot of fans do assume that that you start aiming at that bullseye so to speak but I don't believe in that, because now all of a sudden you throw yourself off a little bit. You start pitching punches to that exact spot, instead of just fighting your fight, instead of just letting the jab go in the general direction of the head, set up the other punches. You don't want to get carried away for looking to pinpoint that exact spot. Holy Melanaji is losing badly. I mean, do you see it any other way, Teddy? He's losing this fight. Yeah, he is, and he's got to turn it around. And I think it's too late, and I hate to say this as a trainer, but to start doing all the fundamental things that usually you bring to a fight, it's too late for that. He needs to find a way to land a big shot. That's typically not the message you hand. No, it's not, because the more you look for a big shot, the more you don't find it, you leave yourself wide open. But he's gotten himself painted into that corner right now. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, typically how are they acting? What are you seeing out of them? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. Next round, Halfway through the scheduled rounds here, he gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Pauli Malinaji is just thinking too much about what happened earlier. You can see with how hesitant he is, how tentative he is offensively now. Absolutely, Joe. You know, this business is about being smart. It's about the sweet science knowing how to hit and not get hit. But it's also about taking chances. Right now, he's afraid of taking chances. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Money's throwing wide punches. If I'm standing opposite of that, I jump on. Yeah, well, if you're the fighter, that's where you have to be kind of like into a Kodak moment, where you take a picture and you say, okay, I remember that, and the next time, bang, I'm gonna take advantage. Good looking counter punch by Pauly. to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. 
Paulie Melanashi sticking to what we've always known of him, Teddy. The style hasn't changed, even though he was knocked down earlier. You know, a lot of trainers would say, hey, they pat him on the back. They say, there you go, kid. You know, stay with your identity. Just make sure that you correct a couple little things you need to correct. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, with special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. Malinaji with a counter punch. They start up again, back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Good block by Pauly. Blocks the headshot. He's now in a position where he may not even realize it, but the eye is getting worse. Still, he fights on. He behaves like a fighter, and that's the greatest asset you have. It's not your jab. It's not your hook. It's not your power. It's not your footwork. It's your ability to behave like a fighter when you have to. He's doing that right now. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. with a left hand. Let's send it up to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockout, your winner. He's your winner by impressive knockout victory. And he did it just the way he had to. Stayed on the outside and used those quick hands all night. It was.